Hey guys, cigarette review for you guys today. Woo, that failed. Uh, fuck. Uh, ha, I'm not perfect, as you can just see. This review is of Palma Red. Bum, bum, bum. Um, the pack is red, because these are full flavors. Most full flavor packs are red. Marlboro Reds, full of flavors. Um, I was gonna say these are okay. They're not the best. Um, pack, Pall Mall with red, the crest. Um, famous Virginia tobacco, apparently. 20 king size cigarettes down here. Um, sold in over 100 countries around the world. It says that down there if you want to read that. Palm Mall. And then they got these big friggin' warnings on it. Side warning. Then front and back warning. It's kind of bullshit, but whatever. Um, yeah, I guess I'll read the warnings. Um, tobacco smoke contains benzene, a chemical that causes cancer. It's exactly the warnings that are on here, but I'll just read it again. Look at the power of the cigarette. Remember the face and that smoking killed me so that was Barb Tarbox I remember her when I was a kid talking about anti-smoking and stuff and she finally died of cancer um, Barb Tarbox died at 42 of lung cancer caused by cigarettes um, yeah and then, um, yeah, th that's pretty much the outside of the pack, imported by, imported for Imperial Tobacco Company. On the inside, we value your comments, and they have a little phone number or whatever bitch down there. Silver foil, nothing special about it. There's no special design on it. Then they have this, uh, this card, which I kind of found funny. In a way. It's like, uh, thinking of having a baby? Quitting smoking before pregnancy will increase your chances of having a healthy baby. You'll lower the chances, the lower you'll lower the risk of miscarriage, stillbirth, having a baby with serious health problems. That part I found kind of funny. Although quitting is most beneficial beneficial before conception, there are some benefits to quitting at any time during your pregnancy. So, and then it's just another Health Canada thing. So. And they got this pregnant lady just chilling there with the baby inside of her. Um, yeah, let's get to cigarette design. Uh, just silver stripe. It says Pall Mall in purple letters. Um, these are non perforated. And there's a fuzzy for my jacket on the end. That is taken care of. They smell. They smell better than they actually are. It's gonna say. So let's spark it up and I'll uh, get to it. If you're dying for a cigarette and you don't have any, and these are like, like thinking of something, yeah, Palma Reds. Sure, why not? But if you have a choice, like you're thinking, oh, I want to try something different, I'd choose something other than these. I haven't had the American versions of Pall Malls yet, but um, if you're in Canada and you're thinking of them, I'd probably choose like an Accord Red or something instead of a Pall Mall Red. I like Accords, they're really, really good. Um, yeah, I do like the cigarette box design. Um, I wish there was more of it, but they have this warning on here. And I do like the cigarette design as well. The Pall Mall in purple and the silver stripe with the all white filter. Um, <clears throat> they're okay. I mean, if you're really hurting, then yeah, pick them up. But if not, then I would stay away from them. Maybe I'm being a little harsh on them. I don't know. I've smoked a whole pack of these, so yeah, they're alright. I really want to pick up some more accords, but I also want to get some different ones so I can get some more reviews up for you guys. But, um, yeah.
They're all right. Huh. That's an interesting note. Or interesting thing I've noticed is the smoke coming off of the cherry, it's gray. The smoke that comes out of here is a bit yellow. It's different. It's yellow. I guess maybe the tar or something. Um, as you can see, I'm getting a little bit of an uneven burn on this one. The other one I had, it was like completely diagonal. So these aren't very consistent burn-wise. But if you don't care, then whatever. Um... Some other guys to check out, Tom's SIG Reviews, G-Unit SIG Reviews, RG the Smoker, um, Nerf Merchandise, Max Reviews 101, uh, um, I totally messed myself up there. I can't remember anybody else. Real SIG reviews. Ah, there's another one. Um, I've been having problems today, man. <laughs> like, not bad problems, just funny ones. Like, I. There's some parts today I just couldn't talk right or. Whatever. Kept forgetting shit. But, um. Yeah, I know there's other ones, but I just can't remember right now. Um, if you guys that are wondering, Hutch is done making videos. His channel's not even up anymore. I thought at first when it happened, he got flagged and his account got shut down and deleted, but <coughs> I'm not so sure. I really have no clue. So, uh, yeah. Work was alright today. The weather here was crazy, man. Like one minute, complete, like drizzly, next minute, sunny, happy, ha ha ha, maybe be able to do something outside later today. And then pouring, and then sunny, and then back to sprinkling, and then sunny, and then pouring, and then sunny, and then pouring. There's even some thunder today, but it's just been one of those really weird days where the weather is kind of bipolar and doesn't know what the fuck it wants to do but um it's nice right now it's dry so it's pretty sweet yeah so I'm going to rate this guys, the box, I do like it, except for the huge warnings, um, but the cigarette uh, pack design itself, I do like, I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10, cigarette design, I like it as well, 9 out of 10, taste, meh, 6.5 out of 10, it's okay, um, buzz, mm, not so much, I'm going to give that probably a, I'll give it a 6 out of 10, the burn and the burn time, Burn is pretty inconsistent, 6 out of 10. Uh, burn time, it's alright, I'll probably give it a 7.5 seven a, seven and a out of 10. Um, I wouldn't recommend smoking these all the time, but whatever. Some people really like Pall Mall, some people don't. Or Pell Mell, I don't know. This It's Pall Mall on the pack, so I'm assuming that's how you say it. If you know, please share your knowledge. So. Um, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, overall, I'd probably give them a 7.5 out of 10. They're okay, I guess. Um, yeah. <clears throat> if 
If you guys are just bored and you're looking for something to watch on YouTube, check out Sexy Sax Man. Um, it's pretty freaking funny. It's this guy with the killer ass freaking mullet that goes around with the saxophone and plays um, the George Michael's song. I can't remember the name of the song right now, but it's absolutely hilarious. Um, he just goes into like Walmart, stands in a shopping cart, somebody pushes it and he just plays the song and it's just really funny. He gets in a whole bunch of trouble and whatever, but um, check that out if you're bored. <coughs> that was nice. <laughs> There's a mustard yellow MR2 with turbos that just came by. It sounded like it was possibly a t twin, twin turbo, and it was pretty loud. You guys probably heard that in the video. It's pretty awesome. It just flew by, but um, yeah, that is pretty much my video, guys. My review. Um, Check out those other guys, rate, comment, subscribe, do all the other good shit, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for my next review, so thanks for watching guys, we'll see you later.